What's up, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. It is a good day because we basically only have good news and some confusing news. Yes, that is happening. So get ready for that and get ready for the absolute blockbuster that is BYU women's volleyball. It's going to be a good show. Let's go. Our kids are all too familiar with West Coast Conference Awards, so it's only fitting that we have a lot of them today. Starting with Cameron Tucker of BYU Women's Soccer, who earned herself WCC Player of the Week. But guess what? We've got more than just weekly honors. With the regular season over for BYU Women's Volleyball, we have all WCC honors coming out. And boy, do we have a lot of them. So sit back, relax, and... Enjoy the show. The show continues for women's volleyball next week in the NCAA tournament. Good luck, ladies. Keep the good times rolling. BYU softball shuts out Utah State for nothing at Miller Park to get the girls their fifth straight win. Autumn Moffitt Korth, our WCC Pitcher of the Week, threw her 36 career complete game, and both Hunter Alva and Riley Jensen had home runs. Always good to see our ladies at BYU softball get a win, but it is especially good anytime we get a win over Utah State. Yeah, I'm still bitter. Sweet. Sweet revenge. All right, I don't know what's going on, but we have yet another post from a BYU hoopster that's got us questioning a lot. Okay, AB, I get it. Y'all like the element of surprise. You're trying to keep us on our toes. It's working, I get it. Is this one of those things where it's like, oh, well, if my friend does it, then maybe I'll do it too. Guys, don't you know you're not supposed to follow the trends of your friends? You can do your own thing. You can. You can come back regardless. It's fine. I'm over it. In other news, let's take things to football. Not necessarily the football team, but how about the football stadium? <laughs> Announced by Tom Holmo this morning, thanks to a donation given by corporate sponsor New Skin, Lavelle Edwards Stadium will be getting two new video boards, a new sound system, and LED ribbon boards. That is going to be sick, and it's all being revealed in the 2021 football season. Let me give you an idea of this upgrade. The south board will be 48 by 131 feet, and the north board will be 36 by 72 feet. That's a 370% increase. Just seeing the new plans for the video board gets me so excited for the upcoming season, and it gets me so ready to see it in person. How many more days do we have? What? Uh, 149 days? All right. That's just way too long. We're going to have to preview it now. <laughs> okay, guys, this is fun. I'm all about it. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go follow us. I'll see you next time, and soon we'll see this video board. See ya.